In this second step, I'm going to teach you how to use the Google Sites template to get you started, but you're going to want to customize it. Having a template is great for getting you ideas and getting you started, but rarely is a template exactly what you want for a web page. In fact, I know it's not going to be. A template is just going to give you a template or a start for your project. Let me show you where I want to go in this video. I want to take this web page right here, is, or this is what I want your my web page to look like after I show you this video. I'm going to have um, some uh, tech title text. I'm going to have my YouTube video, um, introduction video, and then I'm just going to have a little bit of text. The template, however, generated a different page for the, the top page. It has the top page that has these trainings and uh, the scheduling stuff and then has uh, uh, the ability for people to leave comments and attach their own kind of files and then this thing called uh, breadcrumbs which shows you the, the different pages or reminds you of the different pages you've been on. First let me show you how to get rid of this stuff on the bottom since I don't think this looks good on, on my home page especially. The way you do that is you go to this gear and inside this gear there are page settings and inside the page settings I have all kinds of things I can turn on and off. I, I'm going to leave the page title but I don't want the links to sub page. I don't want uh, people to be able to add attachments and I don't want them to be able to leave comments but I do want this page in the sidebar. So I'm going to hit save there and it's going to change my page and you'll notice all that stuff is gone. I don't know how to get rid of this stuff on the bottom since it's a Google site. I'm not sure if I can do that, but I, I was able to get rid of that other stuff. Now I want to do some editing of this so it looks more like this. Now in order to do that, the first thing I have to do is, is learn the difference between the layout view, this is the layout view, and the editor view. This is the editing view. You have these menus on the editor view. You also have these little um, guide lines in there that kind of helps you understand what's going on in the page and helps you edit the page better. Now I don't want this stuff here. I want to leave this home thing. I'm going to change the color. I like that uh, I love blue so I'm going to change this to blue and hello change you to blue. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Now it's blue, sorry. Just had to save it. And then I'm going to um, get rid of all of this stuff. And to get rid of it all, I'm going to click and drag and delete. And I'm just going to double check to make sure I didn't leave any behind. I'm clicking and dragging in that box. Nothing is left behind. Now I'm going to insert my YouTube video. So I'm going to go to Insert YouTube. And I'm going to have to paste the URL, which I have uh, preloaded here in this window. I'm going to copy the link, and I'm going to paste the link down, and I'll save it. I'm going to include border, include the title. I'm going to call this title I'm going to call it Project Video. And I'm going to make, I want it centered. There we go. I'm going to save it, see how that looks. And there it is. The, it says project video and it's centered, ready to go. Go back to, from layout view, back to edit view. And I'm going to add that text box. So I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert that text box. And the, the title of the text box, which is optional, but I'm going to put one in this. Yeah, I'm going to call this ex Say for your final project, you must create a web page using Google Sites. This will take the place of your final exam. Yes, you must use Google Sites. Alright, now I'm going to make it 
bigger. I'll change the text color to a red. I'll make it bold. I'll center it. I'll change the font to that one. And save it up. And boom, let's see how it looks. Well, what I don't like is that this is on top and this is on bottom. I wanted the order um, switched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the editor. And I'm going to do a click and a drag to get things where I want them. And, and this is kind of tricky, but I click and I drag. Now let's see if it looks like I want. Oh, beautiful. That's exactly what I want. Some other features I want to show you in this video are, are um, it, is that you can look at this page um, in, inside of a, a web viewer, which is kind of cool. So this is what the page will look like on a desktop. This is what it would look like on a mobile device. Oh, don't put it on a mobile device. But this is what it will look like on the desktop if someone were to go to the web page. And it just opens a new window, so I can delete that and get rid of that. Something else really cool and really powerful is when I make projects, I'll sometimes try something and realize, oh my goodness, that just didn't work. I really messed stuff up. And you can go back into your revision history by being in the layout mode, going on this gear, going revision history. And you can go back to any version that is saved. Now, it only saves, um, it looks like about 10 versions, but... Um, you, you can go back to those versions. You just click on it, and you will go back to that version. Oh, it looks like you can go even further back in history. I can go all the way back to the first version. Looks like it saves it every time. Every time you click Save, it um, keeps track of those um, versions. So that can come in really, really handy. Good luck on editing the templates you have, adding content, deleting content, and getting those templates looking exactly like you want them to look. Good luck on your Google Sites project.